If you are someone who is looking to create more short form video and interested in product recommendations, I am going to share with you the actual tools that we use here at Sidewalker Daily to film all our short form content. Now, the reason I say short form is because the things I'm gonna be sharing are just for our reels, TikToks, YouTube shorts. As a business owner, I have so many areas of content, right? I have my podcast, I have my YouTube channel. My equipment is different for all of it. So if you guys are interested in these types of videos, let me know below and I will make more of them. This is specifically for short form because you guys know I'm all about batching and I'm all about producing a lot of content at once and then dripping it out over the next couple of weeks. So I'm gonna be sharing what I personally use to probably create around 20 short form videos a week. We create about 20 a week, I think. So these are the tools that I personally use. And before I share, just know you guys, I have all of these linked on my Amazon shop under Instagram and TikTok tools so that you guys can, you know, if there's anything that you are interested in, I will also include all the affiliate links below of each and every product. And I'll also link to my Amazon shop. So if you wanna go and purchase anything, obviously we get a commission, that's how the Amazon shop works. But we also are able to share this information with you guys. So in terms of, there's no specific order because like everything is just kind of here on this table. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'll pull everything up one by one. Um, let's start with the tripod. Okay, I am obsessed with this. Um, this right here is the Atumec 51. It's a selfie stick because you can like literally just bring it in and it becomes a selfie stick, right? Um, so it's a selfie stick, but it's also a tripod. And I'm quite tall and I find that it works for me. Um, especially when I'm like looking to make my content, I'll just like literally decide to put it against the wall. It's obviously adjustable, all that. I think the best part is, is also that this part of the tripod shoots downward. So if I wanted to do anything, just like showing my hands typing or anything of that nature, I lit like it has this swivel, which I think makes it really, really, really useful. I also love that it has like a little Bluetooth in a little Bluetooth remote that is something that you, it comes with the charger. So again, if you wanna have like your remote and you're shooting your content, you can go ahead and shoot and use this remote. I'm not gonna take it off, but it's like right there. So you can go ahead and use that. I love this tripod. Um, I'm obsessed with it. And I think everyone that I've shared with it has ended up buying it and loving it too. Hey, what else is there? Okay, so lighting. Um, I use two different types of lighting. I have the ring light, which I'm gonna pop up here on screen. This is the ring light we use. It's actually being used behind my camera to film today's video, so I can't show you that. But we use a ring light, so sometimes I'll bring the ring light around with me and have that tripod there as well. Um, if not, if I don't need the ring light and I'm actually like moving and traveling and I'm not gonna bring the ring light, I have like this cheap little light. Again, it's on my Amazon storefront. Um, it's different than the Lumi Cube. The Lumi Cube is more expensive. It's about $100. This one's like 35 at the moment. I can't even pronounce it, so I'm not gonna try. As you can see, it just like clips to your phone and it's easy when you're shooting, you know? And again, this little hole right here goes right where the camera is so that the content pops. It has like different settings for the light. So I find this really good for travel or like if I'm shooting content not at the house, um, it's small, it's light, it goes in my purse, I like it. There's also like the Lumi Cube. I have that on our page as well. It's a little bit more of an expensive option. And then in terms of, this is also just like really useful to basically just put my phone on and it's I'll have it like on my desk, right? So if sometimes I just wanna shoot stories or lives or whatever, um, obviously I have to sometimes put it on books to bring it higher, but it's just like simple. And it's just like, again, really easy, lightweight, a simple little tool. Also, these little guys, they're really funny. They are like little suction cups that you put on the back of your phone. And what's interesting about these is you stick them on, right? And then you can literally put this directly onto the window. So when you're shooting, you want that natural light, right? So I would literally put this just like this straight onto the window and then I'd be shooting my content. Now, the reason it's not on this phone is because this is my work phone and the other phone that I use to shoot on is purely for content. I don't mix my content with my phone. 
Um, I have like a phone just for content. It just helps with the editing process to have everything separated, whereas this is obviously a different tool for me. So yeah, these little guys, they're, that's why you don't see it on my current phone, um, but they're really cheap. They're like stickies and they're little suction cups. So again, sticks to the window, it sticks to the bathroom mirror, right? So if you're doing that sort of content and you literally just need to bring your phone up, it sticks to it. I think it's pretty cool and it's also really cheap. So in terms of how I shoot my content, I actually, I don't have the phone with me because like I said, it's for editing. So the phone is separate. It's not with me right now. It's with our editor, but we actually bought a Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy 22 to shoot all our content on. So I am an iPhone gal at heart. I'm both. So I'm not going to pick a team. They have different, you know, things but um, I do use Samsung to shoot all our short form. I find that the video quality is really good. I know that they're coming out with a new one. Maybe by the time you watch this video, they've come out with like a few new ones, but we do use the Samsung S22 to shoot all our videos on. Um, that's also all linked in our account. And I have like, obviously because it's such an expensive tool, I have a nice little otter box um, case cover for it. And I also have screen protectors. So I made sure I bought these with that phone to make sure it's taken care of. And that's the phone that you'll find these little sticky guys on. Oh, and last but not least, you may have seen me using like a wireless mic on my TikToks and Reels. Um, I find that the quality is just better. So the only thing I will say is there's two things that you have to take into account. There's an Android version and an iPhone version. So because I do also sometimes shoot on this, not as often, um, I did have an iPhone version as well, but whatever you're buying, make sure it's just the right plug because it's the plug at the bottom that matters. I also do think that the audio on this is better when you are just like holding it versus when it is pinned. Um, but again, maybe that's just like an each his own sort of situation. So that's it. That's the equipment that I use to shoot all our short form. Um, if you guys, again, like I said, are interested in these type of videos and equipment videos and what we use and our editing tools and all the logistics and stuff that we use to make these videos come to life, let us know in the comments and we'll make more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.